Hello everyone! Last week we took a closer look on the interior of Vilda to review the progress of sanding and to identify those areas that need more filling and fairing. In this episode we are moving forward with more spot filling in the salon in preparation for a second coat of primer. Yay! And an old piece of furniture is rescued and reinstalled on our boat. Stay with us to find out more! After having spent some time back home in Europe and Axel fully recovered after his hernia operation, we are excited to be back in Australia and to share more about our wonderful project, Building Vilda. In case this is the first time you're watching, Vilda is a Schoening Wilderness 1340 sailing catamaran that has spent too many years in a shed in Australia without being finished. Axel bought the boat in 2019 and since then, with Covid, jobs and everything in between, we managed to make a few trips down under and made some progress on the build. Of course, with a massive project like this one, we are not yet done. But we are pushing forward and we do hope that sometime soon we will be out there on the water. In case we managed to spark your interest to find out more about building Vilda, what changes we made on the boat and how did it go, do have a look at our previous videos to see where we started and where we are now. It's, the boat's looking pretty good and like I said earlier, it's not going to be perfect and we're going to have to be fine with that uh, or we could stay here forever and we don't want to do that. We, it's expensive and I don't know, I'd much rather be out on the ocean with an imperfect boat. So we are trying to strike a balance and to limit the sanding and fairing to a minimum without making too much compromise on the looks, as we are trying to make Vilda pretty and comfortable. Now, although it may look like you have seen this footage before, I can guarantee that this is a new round of fairing in the salon. I am filling in the weave pattern that the first coat of primer did not cover. My next job on the to-do list for the day was to try to finish sanding and fairing the cockpit and deck hatches. In a previous episode, Axel was explaining that they did need more attention. So while I was doing that, Axel was trying to revive a piece of furniture. So let's have a look at that. You might have spotted in a previous video our beautiful leg or support for the workbench. Now, let's talk a bit about it. This piece of furniture is actually a cutout from our boat. It was removed from the salon a few years ago when Axel decided to give our cockpit a new look. The cut was very nicely done at the time with the idea in mind that one day we might reuse it. So, today that day has come. So Roxana is working on these hatches still, uh, filling and fairing and making them pretty beautiful. Not quite there yet, but work in progress, let's call it that. Yeah. Yes. Ah! But they're pretty close. A few gaps to be filled still. Yes. You can't film them from that angle because then you can see everything. Well, that's the reality <laughs> of it. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, we can look at this little one. Look, this yeah. one is a bit more. But those gaps are nothing. This here we have big gaps. Okay, this one. What is this little boy? This is uh, some furniture. I had forgotten that I had planned to put in the salon again. So this was cut out from the salon. Uh, a few years first, ago. A few years ago. And yes. now it's going back in a slightly different shape. So there's uh, a couple of holes that I am repairing, replacing materials. And uh, <laughs> yeah. so replacing some material where it's missing. And uh, we'll try and fare this uh, outside of the boat before putting it in simply because it's easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not gonna tape this thing to, to the boat like it was originally. It's, it's just gonna be glued in because, uh, yeah, too much work taping it in and not necessary for this piece. So we have to fill in this little gap here? Yes. Uh, One, number two here, a... this piece. Yeah. And number three, here is this corner there are little corner is missing so oh. so he's gonna like go in that. there mm -hmm. and he's gonna be sitting in the salon and he's gonna be a shelving unit let's somewhere call it. for us to put some or alcohol. a coffee okay <laughs> or coffee, each coffee, with their own taste <laughs> okay let's go to work now Set him to. Set him to. Time lapse. No. High five? No. Okay. <laughs> so in this part of the shed, we're doing some uh, some fairing, and down here we have the new uh, new old shelf or oh. cupboard or uh, whatever. He's going in the salon today. I'm gonna glue him in. Yeah, and uh, place the Frankenstein shelf on the Frankenstein bulkhead. It's <laughs> It'll be good, actually. I cut him out three years ago, almost, and uh, we're gonna squeeze him in there today. And uh, these are for, for persuading him to end up in the right place. <laughs> but before that, we have to do some sanding. Do we really? On the shelves, on the inside yes. of the car. Yes. The, <laughs> Everything always needs to be fared, and uh, in this case, it's going to be slightly easier, or quite a lot easier, to to fare the shelves before we glue the cupboard in place, and we'll do that. It's a job that'll take a few minutes, as opposed to many minutes if the place was if it was glued in place. So take take three, I think it is. Uh, <laughs> Rox and I uh, remembered the camera in the middle of gluing, 
and uh, that's not a good idea. Uh, well, that's not a good time to pick up cameras and and start filming. So this is what we've got. We finally got that piece of furniture that I took out a couple of years ago, back in place. Been moved from there, where it was holding a TV and uh, some steering stuff. Now it's here, to cover the Frankenstein bucket and uh, to give us plenty of space for our alcohol and possibly non-alcoholic beverages as well. <laughs> possibly. But uh, no. It's uh, gonna be a useful place for us to store stuff. Um, coffee table, Roxana says. Maybe there will be a coffee machine here. Or not. Anyway, we squeezed it in. And as you may have guessed, because of all of these things, it's not a perfect fit, but with a little bit of adjust persuasion, the whole thing is in place. It'll stay there, and it's never coming out. Unless we decide to rebuild this whole section into a galley up, sort of thing. But that would be 10 years from now and in another dimension or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Oksana says it's not happening, and I agree. So, yeah, we're not rebuilding this thing. We're making it pretty and going sailing. And not that pretty. episode we will continue sharing more of our progress on the building Vilda journey. You will see what we focus next both on the interior and on the exterior of the boat. Thanks for following our project. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe, like, share and to remember that we have a new update every Sunday, you can click the notification button. It's a nice easy way to encourage us to keep up the work and to leave a comment down below if you'd like to stay in touch. <laughs>